Hello and welcome everybody to another league race on Project Cars 2 with Motive Racing. Uh, they're an awesome community um, on the PlayStation 4 platform. They have a number of leagues scattered throughout the week and in both Project Cars 2 and an ACC at the moment. I think they're looking to expand as well so keep an eye on that. Um, they do amazing commentary on all of their league races. Uh, check them out at the links in the description below. Alrighty, so today's race uh, takes place at Fuji um, and uh, as per usual there will be a practice then there will be a sprint race, in this case it's 12 laps and it will be in clear conditions and then we'll have a short qualifying and then a feature race which will be longer, 26 laps um, which will transition from cloud to rain in the dark so that will be interesting uh, Fuji usually doesn't have much grip just kind of at baseline. Uh, I struggle around here, it's not one of my favorite tracks. Um, but the rain will make it interesting for sure, especially with the addition of the cold. Um, right now in the championship, we are in 12th, I believe. Um, and, uh, you know, we hope we, we keep doing better, keep getting a couple of good results. We missed the first couple of races, so it's kind of hard to do well. Uh, I'm using this more of like a learning opportunity. I guess, you know, just trying to make sure that I don't ruin anyone's race and, and, and learn as I go. Alrighty, and with that, let's uh, move on over to the sprint race, which was uh, actually a very fun race. We started in sixth position. Uh, you might remember that this is a reverse uh, grid order or championship order race start. Uh, so it gives everybody kind of a chance to maybe score some points. Uh, we start in sixth. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to the race. We're about, to, oh, and he's gone. Caught us napping there. Didn't even have a chance to welcome you guys. And we're off. Down this long uh, start finish straight in Fuji. So I had a very difficult time getting a working setup. Side two. Are we three wide? Ooh, we were three wide. Wow. Oh, there goes Maze. He's higher up in the championship. That's unfortunate. I'm sure he wanted to storm up. But yeah, the grip here is just, I think that's Fury going wide. The grip here is just something else. It's, it was really difficult to get to a working setup uh, for this week's event. is to try and do as well as we can because I do not think that I'm going to qualify uh, very highly the other guys seem like they are very quick around here and in the practice session it almost felt like um, I was missing a lot of grip from practice for some reason so we'll see how it goes hopefully things here will turn out okay this corner I feel like I have to go so slowly um, in order not to spin another point where it's easy to spin is right around this turn here the car just wants to Slide, slide, as you can see there, I'm fighting. I'm 
that's interesting. I, I am also participating in the ACC um, League here on Motive, which is also fantastic. All of their events are very well organized. But I have to say, with kind of the rapid switching that I've been having to do between uh, Project Cars 2 and and ACC, it's really highlighting a lot of the handling differences between the two. Uh, and from my point of view, at least, I don't know, it's come, it's come to feel like ACC gives me more a sense of a car and the car feels more like a car whereas in Project Cars 2 it kind of feels like a go-kart, I don't know, I feel like that's the best way that I can describe sensation, we got Maze right up behind I'm going to try and let him go as soon as I can. I don't want to hold him up. Alright, he was a little wide here. Get out of the way. Here we go. But yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. feel like I have more difficulty switching between the two than I expected. Maybe it's a setup thing, maybe I just can't uh, set the cars up as well in Project Cars 2, which is why the, the car feels so uh, loose, I guess, and jittery. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know really what else it could be. If anybody has any suggestions, feel free to comment below. Break it that second board. Oh, full, full tank. And that little bar behind us now. Way between 150. And easy. Because the car wants to rotate. And then here just try and maintain high minimum speed down in third and then come down here, make it to 50. And then accelerate out of the corner. Don't go out wide, those curves want to murder you. And then here break under the Dunlop sign. Don't cut too much of that because you're gonna slow down. around here, very easy to spin, up the hill, break, and just try to get the car to rotate, without spinning, here go wide, and square off the corner, you can make the turn and uh, get up uh, onto the straight, already starting to accelerate. Alright, we're in we're in sixth, which is technically where we started. So good. Break right off to the second board. wants to spin there. And it took me a lot of iteration. I think it was 
I was gonna buy. It took me a lot of iteration before I got to a point. Oh, he's jumping again. <laughs> if you remember from last time, he was also slightly jittery. But yeah, it took me a lot of iterations on the setup to try and get to a point where it was even this stable. Well, outside, maybe. Nope. So you got cars in front and behind. You know, guys kind of forcing this arrow. I think you know, guys probably gonna have us. The GTR is quick in a straight line. We have this much freedom up. Can I do anything crazy? Oh, another guy! What the? That Porsche just kind of bogged his way through. I had to take the outside line. It's not the emo guy, and then he just smashed through the middle between us. A little frustrating, but let's see if we can catch back up. Maybe make up a spot or two. Like I said, the other guys are pretty quick around here. And this week I was very limited for practice and had to do a lot of setup work. Because the car was almost undrivable uh, with the baseline setup. Oh, emo guys lost it. Okay, so that's one spot. You just have to keep the car under control. It's so easy to spin around here. I think if we can be consistent, we can probably end up with a, a solid result. Pit entry is going to be interesting for the feature race. So we have pit entry. Ooh, someone's fear is that Fury who's unhappy? Ooh, okay, well we're gonna be opportunistic. Take care not to hit Fury because he is way ahead of us in the championship. Ooh, and I think we have BT Targa behind as well. He's way ahead of us in the championship as well. So we'll just, as soon as we get a chance, we'll let him by. Try not to lose ourselves any time or positions. Ooh. I thought it was going up the inside and he went wide. Oh, I'm sorry, BT. All yours, man. Okay. I think, uh. I think he's first in the championship right now. See, I'm not gonna hold him up. Drag race down here. It's gonna be in the other Porsche. I think I'm getting more slipstream. He might have me because I don't want to hit BT. Ooh, I got loose in the exit there. So we still have a chance. Okay, 
Nice. I think this, uh, this guy in the other Porsche is quicker than we are though. Oh, it's been an exciting race so far, a lot of pos position changing. Looks like we got a little bit of a gap behind us. Just trying to stick. Oh, BT's round. That's that's unfortunate. I wonder what happened. Just trying to stick with these guys. Exactly for that reason, in case somebody uh, dropped it. We're in seventh, that's not bad. It's better than I was, ex was expecting. Sliding. Are they fighting? It's good. Let's us catch up. I think that both of them are probably quicker than, than we are. So the only hope we have is a mistake, a mistake from them.
I'm sorry guys, this is uh, intense, I'm, I'm really trying to stick with them. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to make up another spot, but 7th uh, is a solid result, like I said before. It's uh, better than I, than I thought. So yeah, good result from the sprint. Let's hope we can do well in the uh, feature 2. Good clean racing, Akbar. Alright, here we go. Oh, what the hell? We just hit an invisible car. Okay, well. Careful down here. Fury's on the inside. Oh, shit. Damn it. Well, <laughs> what a start, guys. What a start. I'm guessing we're down all the way. And we got no lights. I think that was from the first impact though. Whoa. Mm. This actually is making it quite hard to see. I, I might just have to put to get the lights repaired. Well, not the greatest start, but we got 20 something, 26 laps to get back in. And uh, we've caught. Caught up a little bit. So not all is lost. Oh, and Lambo made a mistake. I think that's DJ Phil. Ooh, we might just get a run here. Oh man, that'll be... That's a good solid rejoin. Didn't get in the way. We have a really good run here. Okay, that's your one move. Whoa. I don't know what the hell that guy was th I don't know what he was thinking he moved once and then right across again jeez uh, I let's just go into the here guys I can't see anything and we're way behind now anyway Whoa. I know I'm trying to do too many things here multitask I'm going very slowly I just want to make sure we don't change to wet tires So that's been kind of ate up our tires there. Um, I'm gonna 
try saying no tires. We lost about four seconds of that slow lap, but you know, a ton of time in the crash, so whatever. Well, I guess it's going to be a two stopper. No, I can't see anyway, so. Damn it. What a horrible opening lap and a half. That's just literally just ridiculous. But, that <laughs> happens in motorsport, happens in real racing. Alright guys, and uh, we're going to skip ahead here by quite a ways, uh, as you can imagine I was just kind of lapping on my own here, I'm way behind, almost a lap down already, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll pick up a little bit later in the race. Somehow, um, we've started coming up on the the back of Fury here. I don't know what happened. I thought Emo guy was ahead of me until a second ago. He might Emo guy might be in the pits. Fury might have just come out of the pits. I'm not sure. That's quite odd though. Fury is was very quick. He had really good pace. I'm not sure why why he would be in ninth. But yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can catch him and maybe at least have a little bit of racing um, in this race. It's been pretty lonely so far after those incidents. Man, this section of this track is really difficult. Oh, Fury's round, what the heck? What happened? You know, I kind of wanted to race with them, but I also don't want to mess with them. He's way higher up than me in the, the championship. I'm not sure where he is. I mean, we have no chance of, uh, you know, doing very well in the championship. Really, it's just about learning for us. And... Uh, you know, having a good time. To be fair, I don't think I'll fight him too, too much if he catches back up. But for now, we're past, so. Still struggling with how slidey this car is around here. Probably a setup thing. To be fair though, I've always had a really uh, hard time around this track. Especially that turn, and then this one also. Struggle to get a good run out of there. Which is obviously very important down the long straight. I still can't believe we hit an invisible car at the start. 
I don't I don't understand why that happened. Right, guys, I'm just trying to do the best laps that I can to see if we can legitimately stay ahead of Fury, who's way quicker than us. Not like that, I won't. like he caught us on that lap. I think he's definitely closing. Man, I know this probably isn't exciting for, for you guys watching, but it's quite stressful right now. Uh, I kind of thought this race was going to be kind of stress-free because of what happened at the opening. So now that it's kind of back on, it's surprising. I was just trying to do the best laps that I could there. In the interim, just kind of did it as a consistency and pace challenge for myself Ooh. don't want to hit that invisible car I don't know if you can still hit it don't want to lose my lights again Just broke a little late there. Let him pass. Because that was that was my mistake. No point in trying to block or anything. Well, well, new challenge. Let's see if we can catch. Not with that kind of revving. Oh, whoops. Fury made a mistake again. I feel like he has to be distracted or something. again here. This horrible last corner there. Let's see if he's going to go for it. Looks like maybe. Right 
Could have turned in way earlier there. <laughs> I think I'm just repelling. Oh, oh. Wow. That was so close. What the hell? Fury's got to be distracted <laughs> by something. <laughs> I mean, he just went off onto the curb there. I was about to say, trying to re repel all contact. You know, already had enough contact in this race, and I'm just hyper, hyper avoidant. To my own detriment, I think we could have more fun racing. I wasn't doing that. Giving too much space. Alright guys, unfortunately that's going to wrap up all of the excitement for this race. Um, we stay ahead of Fury until it starts raining. Um, it starts raining close to the end uh, of a lap, so I decide to come in. And Fury stays out and he puts in bunch of very quick laps uh, I was very slow when I was on the wet tires at first because the track wasn't wet enough um, and so uh, Fury managed to catch up and actually overtake us in his pit stop uh, and then uh, he was ahead of us until the end um, yeah unfortunately so that means we finish in 10th Fury actually ended up about 15 seconds or so up the road from us uh, unfortunately, we also missed the Circuit of the America race, which was the week following this one. I know it's taken me a while to get this video out. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so we ended up having a great learning experience, um, great first season, and uh, look forward to many more with, uh, with Motive Racing. Uh, please remember to check them out, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.